Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to draw Rizzi's birds. So the first one I'm going to draw will be looking sideways, and the next one will be looking right at you. So it's two different pictures, and then you can watch the video again, or you can rewind, or fast forward. And when you make yours, you might have eight birds on your picture. Or maybe you have two big birds. Or maybe you have some big birds and some little birds on your page, okay? Totally up to you how you make yours today, but I'm going to show you how to draw them in two different ways. So, let's get started with the sideways bird. Now, you can make them look either direction. I'm going to make mine look this way. So I'm going to start with an arrow pointing in the direction that I want the bird to look. That's going to be the bird's beak. And then I'm going to do this rainbow line for the head. And now that's going to come in a little bit toward that bottom beak, but it's not going to touch it, right? I'm leaving a space. Then the bird has uh, a neck and the belly. So I'm going to make a big bump here. And that's going to go keep going pretty far back to be the tail. And I'm going to connect them with a letter U. That's the basic shape of our bird. And what Rizzy would do for the wings is just a curvy line, curly line like this. Sorry, my marker's really loud. And now I'm going to do um, some feathers on top of the head, which are just a few lines. One, two, three, four. The legs are very simple. It's just going to do one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Big smile. And then the eye is just going to be an oval with a big pupil inside. Now, if you want to, you can do eyelashes. So that's a bird that's looking sideways. And when you color this, you would color the feathers in between here as well. So the other thing that you can do is to make a bird that's looking right at you. So I'm just going to slide this over a little bit. So for this bird, I'm going to do a down arrow because the bird's looking right at you, pointing at you. And now I'm going to connect this with a big circle. So like that. doesn't have to be perfect. When the bird looks at you, he gives them two little nostrils. And for this, we're going to do two eyes. Because when the bird was looking sideways, the other eye is hidden behind the head. But when the bird's looking at you, you can see both. One, two, three, four lines. For the body, we're going to come down from under those eyes in both directions. Pick a side to make a tail. I'm going to do my tail over here. Like that. And now I'm going to connect them. I'm going to do that same wing feather. Just four letter U is connected. And now when he draws them looking right at you, he usually has one straight leg. And then one leg that comes in and out. Cool. Now remember for your composition or for your picture, you could have, um, you know, five of these guys if you can fit them on your page. Or you can fill the grass with a whole bunch of little ones and have some flying in the sky. Totally, totally up to you. Um, now I'm going to fast forward through coloring in these guys so that you can see what that looks like, and this might take us to class periods, and that's okay. Let's just see where we go. See you in a minute. Great. So I colored in between the 
head feathers here. And now it's time to do some sort of background. So you can't leave your background white. Um, and if you look at Rizzo's pictures that I shared with you, he likes to fill some spaces with hearts. So I'm going to make some lovebirds and add some hearts in here. He also liked to use flowers. To make a flower, I'll start with my circle, and then I just fill it with some ovals. So circle, and then I just do these oval lines until I have, I don't know, six or so. I can do a zigzag line for my grass. And I'm going to draw some more flowers, and then I'm going to color in. When I color in these flowers, I can use lots of color to make them really pop. I can use different colors from my birds to make them really pop. I'm not sure. We'll see how this goes. See you in a minute. Okay. So I forgot to hit the record button, but here you can see that I've painted my whole picture. And you can paint if you have paints, but really just use whatever you like. And I did something here just to make my life easier, which is I just painted over all of these black lines because painting in between the little birdie legs and in between the little birdie toes and around these flowers, it can be done, right? That's fine. But a, a quick and easy way that I like to do is to just paint over it. And then when it dries, it's really easy to see. So some of this is dry, and I can show you. What I will do when everything's dry is I'll just trace over these one more time. Like, this is wet, so I'm definitely not ready here. But when you're sure it's dry, you can just take your marker, trace over that again, and it looks as good as new. So it's really just about what you like to do. So I hope you have fun with this project. I hope you take your time and enjoy it, and I will see you next time.